guys, it's me. I just want to share real quick with you um, a collective haul. Uh, I went to Michael's in search of some particular things, some particular washi tapes and stuff that I could not find. Um, but I did find some other stuff. And I also found some goodies at Dollar General and um, Party City. So... At Michael's, they had an extra 30% or 30 off your entire regular price purchase. And I also found some clearance goodies as well. So they had this Heidi Swap um, canvas chipboard Insta, uh, Insta Cinch album. So I'm not going to use it uh, for the Cinch album, but I really liked the gold ephemera. And the gold, um, like, acetate cards. And it also comes with, I think, this pre-cut paper as well. It even comes with the binding for the cinch. Um, but I really just wanted the acetate cards and the ephemera. So this was $4.99 on carrot. And then I also found this set, which I debated about getting. It was $4.99 as well. Um, and this is the card kit, but why I really wanted it was because it comes with acetate, or no, vellum envelopes, which I've never seen before. And I want to try making my own, but I wanted to get the specs off of these because there's no measurements on here. So I really just bought it for the envelopes, but I could always use the paper for like flip books or um, I could punch shapes and stuff out of here because I do like the colors they're like a minty kind of blue and a pink and white and then gold so I picked that up really because it's got the three different sizes of envelopes in here made out of vellum and then these I've never seen before they're ornate tags but they're cork and I thought these would be really cute with like um the mini tildes on here are even decorated up um, so I picked those up and they have a hole punch so you could actually use them as tags. And then I have a couple little project swaps that I'm doing. So I did pick up a few little goodies for friends. Um, I got these little sugar skulls for a, someone. And then I really like some of the um, Heidi Swap items but they're never on sale. So I used the 30% off coupon and I got these clear with gold word stickers. <clears throat> I got these silver. I got these gold and clear acetate words. And then these black and white. I also got this kind of mint green. And then these gold stickers. Because I've really been shopping my stash a lot and using a lot of my... Um, collections that I and stuff that I haven't used before I picked up these I don't really care for the um, smiley faces but I do like the words and then Priscilla um, did a video using this stamp set and I was freaking out because I thought it was such a cute card that she made and I'd never seen this stamp set before and randomly I never saw this at Halloween time never saw it and then randomly when I was in Michael's the other day, I saw it. And so I had to get it. It was on clearance for $3.99. And I actually picked up the second one to give away um, to one of two people. I think I know who I'm going to send it to. But I have two, a couple of friends that really like Halloween. So I also decided to go ahead and pick up these bows. And I got these skulls for someone. These are on clearance. For $1.29. And then these were on clearance for $0.50. Cents. And they're like a planner clip. So I picked up um, two of those for friends. And then I got these acetate words. They're like in a pink and a berry color. And then I've never seen these before. Um, I thought they were kind of cute though. They're from Bead Landing. And they're like little charms. But I thought they were like cute little kind of ribbon tassels. And they were 99 cents. So I got those that had some of the um, like pastel colors. And then these that had some of the neutral shabby colors. 
that's the only two I saw. And then that's the other charm. And then what else did I find? Oh, I just picked up one of these little sets of square clips that were on clearance for many sets. And then, <clears throat> I guess I'm going through like my pre <laughs> midlife crisis where I'm like totally into all of the throwback stuff that I really used to like as a kid. And thankfully I have friends who are also into the same thing as well. So I've actually been searching for Lisa Frank stuff, which is like impossible to find, I guess. Ever since like the 90s, early 2000s, it's just, the popularity has really died down. But I'm still in love with it all. I wish I would have kept all my Lisa Frank stuff. But I did find a few things. Um, I want to do like a pocket letter or a flip book for someone using Lisa Frank. So I did go to Dollar General and I found these. I just got two of the same one. But when I was flipping through, I saw this sheet here and I thought this would be perfect for pocket letter because it's already got the squared off images. Um, so you could just like back these on cardstock. But there's a lot of large sticker images as well. And this was a dollar, which is crazy because there is 400 stickers in here and it's five sheets of stickers so I picked up two of those and then I have a friend who likes um he used to love Lisa Frank back in the day and she loves the unicorn and so I just picked this up to send to her I just thought it would be a cute funny gift because it has the little sticker book with a sheet of stickers and that was a dollar too and then these are really cute I I didn't even think to go there looking for Easter stuff, but if you've been looking at the bunnies from Michaels, which are like $3.99, I think for four or $2.99 or something like that, um, they had these at their little like foam bunnies and they're glittered. They come on sticks, but you could easily pull the sticks off, but it comes with two bunnies and two Easter eggs for a dollar. So I picked up one in blue and one in yellow and one in pink because I think I want to try doing some Easter projects and these are super super cute and I plan to take them off the sticks but I thought that is such a cool deal for um a dollar yeah definitely and then the only other thing I found was um at Pretty City, again, I went looking for some Lisa Frank stuff, and they don't carry it there anymore. Hard to believe, but, um, they don't. But I did find these Hello Kitty, um, sequin confetti scatter, and this was on clearance for $1.50. I think they're getting rid of this particular Hello Kitty line. It's like an 80s, 80s collection, and so I picked that up. And then I just picked up this pack of flare because it was $2 for 12 flare buttons clearance out. And they had some other stuff too, but I have some of the stuff from this collection. The, it's a party line, but I have some of the items from the collection. So I picked up that. And then, um, funny, funny enough, whenever I started looking for Lisa Frank, I remembered that I bought my daughter a stationery collection a couple years ago, and she never used it. Um, she was into a sticker phase and stuff for a while, but I found, I remembered she had some of it, and I asked her if she was going to ever use it. She never did use any of it, so she did give it to me. So, I did find some of these. Um, these are not the vintage ones, you know, like the original Lisa Frank, but a lot of the de designs are still the same. So I did find um, these sticker sheets, and then she also had some of the stationery. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to use these on either a pocket letter or a um, flip book. And then it came with four of the envelopes that match the stationery, and then there was also these really cute postcards so if anybody knows where I can find Lisa Frank stuff I have checked oh and there's this little puzzle in here I just took it because she said she didn't want the stuff anymore but I don't know really what I would do with that but 
if anybody knows where I can find it, I don't want to buy it off eBay or anything like that. I'm not looking for like anything super expensive, but I did check Dollar General, Dollar Tree, um, Big Lots, Party City. I know that Walmart sometimes may carry it, but um, I still want to check five and below. But if anybody else knows or comes across some inexpensively, please let me know because I would definitely be interested. Um... Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And if you have a Lisa Frank obsession, too, or you used to love her back in the day, um, leave me some comments and let me know uh, what you think about my pre-midlife <laughs> crisis um, regarding her. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.